This time on Four High Garage, the Mustang comes to life. Okay. Uh oh. Where did that break? I don't know. Drive over that big beef gap. I didn't realize how good that came out. He's just forgotten how good it came out. What pen was that? What kind of paint work was that? I didn't get some of those. Huh? It's over there. Yeah, I think it's like just a construction style. It's not an art style. Oh, All right, let's see how much falls on me. One like this, I think. <laughs> oh, jeez. That does not want to... The clip is gone. Why don't you want to... Oh, there it goes. down on me oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah it's got little let's see how bad it is oh my gosh <laughs> it's brown yellow I don't know what you want to call it Ugh. 20 years old Might get gas on my camera, but oh well. Do it all for the shot. There we go. Where are you gave me that light? Harold. You talking to me or Steve? Harold. You. The light, the big, uh, the big light there. Oh, can you see it blowing out? Oh yeah getting all over my camera. <laughs> you watch it back there, John. All right, I am now. I don't disagree. He's a real big proponent of was going to summon your nuts. Yeah.
kind of slide under it. Try to help hold the weight. Although it's not that heavy. No, it, it's pretty damn light. That one's done. Installing the clip first. Oh, neat. More liquid. Mm. Does it smell like it's flammable or it, water? <laughs> it is definitely gasoline. Not good. All right. I f lied. Oh no. I got it on. It just went on so easy, I didn't realize I got it on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me know when to push. <laughs> Title of your sex tape. Push towards me, I guess. Oh, I'm hitting the exhaust. It actually is. Go back. Oh, did it there go in? It. Yep. All right. <laughs> is it in? <laughs> okay. Yours is the bent one, so it might struggle a little bit. Out of your sex tape. Yeah, we got, we got all the time in the world to struggle once that's strapped. Okay, so that's in. Feels good and positioned, roughly, too. All right. Oh, I guess, hang on. Helps to plug it in. Uh-oh. I'm not hearing anything. It's not that stupid car alarm. The car alarm's definitely going off. Is that just the door ajar button? No, I can hear the hazards going dook, dook, dook. He's out there. It's doing it. What well, why it's doing what? The doorbell chime. Well, when you close the door, the door chime stops. I know, but the door chime shouldn't go off when the key's out. Oh, it's the... Oh, it's probably just wore the f*** out. Like the ignition switch? I wonder if it's just in the switch. The problem's in the switch. I think the I think the alarm is going off and it is disabling the fuel pump. Oh, I see the blocker relays. Yeah, that. Huh. All red wire too. That's weird. Did yeah. you do the car alarm install? Or was it there? No, it was there when I bought this. Yeah. Wonder if that's related. And it was just tucked up. And you never. I really think it noticed. is because this whole wiring harness. It's all zip tied into it. Okay.
Well, John. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I might have found the problem, and it not be the actual car alarm, and also would probably explain what you were experiencing. Oh, oh the ignition. This doesn't look too bad. Well, there's part of it laying on the floor. Oh, yep. <clears throat> yeah, I remember this in mine. Like it, it just, they break. Like you have to get an all new one. Holy yeah. Like this unbolts from here, mm -hmm. and then this disconnects from down here. But I don't know what the f this is. You sure it was attached to this? It I think that's what like slides it. when you turn the key. Oh, that's what goes up in there. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep. I think on mine I've got it zip tied. I, could, I put it all back in and zip tied it up. Uh, but I, I got it back together and I think it's holding. I don't know how it popped out, given it seems to be holding pretty tight, but I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie, zip tie around it anyway to try to help, help it. All right, you wanna plug it in? Turn the key on first. I think that was the trick with the alarm, is having the key on when you hook the battery up. Okay. I heard a click behind me, but that might have been the stereo. Still no fuel pump. I thought it was the stereo because there's no stereo. A relay over there. Wonder if that's the fuel pump relay. Wonder if that's the fuel pump relay hanging down. Hey, well at least we don't have the... You don't the, have a car alarm going off. Yeah, and we don't have the door ajar going off when I have the key out. So that was that part. Turn the key on again. Getting things activating out here. Okay. Uh, is the uh, it, coil got power? Uh, coil has power. Oh, good. All right, keep it there. Still got power? Yeah. No power. Okay. All right, so I don't think it's our alarm system. I am hearing a relay over here or something. And I see a, what looks like a relay that may require ground hanging down. So what would the odds be that that's a fuel pump relay? <laughs> so if you open up the passenger side, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know what it could be? I haven't thought about either. Which relay are you talking about? See it oh, yeah, hanging there? And that looks like a... Uh, a ground strap. Yeah, but there's a black wire on this. Okay. And it's plastic. That's okay. That's just a holder for it. I'll come over and take a look. Now, look at something back here. Oh, the fuel 
shut off the like rollover valve. I don't think it's tripped. Yeah. Is it like tripped? I assume this white thing coming up is what trips it. That I think pops up when it's tripped. Yeah. I'm gonna fool us out where a fuel pump relay is. Under the driver's seat. I don't see anything under here that looks like a relay. Uh, I think that plug there, that green plug, is the fuel pump relay plug. I didn't pull that when we were pulling all the shit, did I? It's not in the cabinet. It, it is very likely, here look John, Yeah. stuck on that bracket. Oh, okay. <laughs> key, key off. To be safe. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Do I hear fuel dripping? Yep, yep, why is it dripping? Oh, it's coming out of the top. We gotta drop the damn tank. There's five gallons in it. How many of these hold? Like 13. 13, so a little less than half. I'll scooch around, make sure it's not the fuel pump or fuel filter. I don't think so. Yeah, it is not. It has to be that one line that I was like, I think I got this. <laughs> gotcha. You ready? Yeah. Say when. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and stop right there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's definitely not on. <laughs> it, it is not on, but simultaneously is on. Oh, gotcha. So it doesn't want to push in to click further? It doesn't want to click further. It doesn't want to come off. I'm going to let it fell off. It just fell off. <laughs> it's got like a barb that clips once it's all the way in to where it won't come out. Six and a half hours later. Hmm. I'm just uh, trying to be a little zen about it. <laughs> Rub those earlobes and go woosabi. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, one is substantially f***ing larger than the other. Oh, you're worried about them on the actual unit? Yeah. Yeah, no, they would be. Man, John, I don't know. That, or I managed to put the f***ing small one on the big one. Yeah. This is what we're talking about. This is the fuel sending unit that sits inside the tank. This is the old one. And the old one clearly has a small side, which should be the return, and a large side, which is the fuel feed. Um, <clears throat> and the OEM hose. 
It's got a hard plastic end. Retaining clip goes through there to hold it in place. There's some O-rings and it fits. The original fits perfectly snug. The O-rings seal up, but on the new one, <clears throat> the new unit that went into the tank, this is a smaller line. It's larger than this, but it's smaller than that. So the leak is coming from this line because it doesn't properly seal over the smaller uh, fuel feed line. And that's where we're stumped. Can you feel the, the, the thickness of the, the 90 degree metal bend in the other one versus? They sure as feel like they're the same. You know what, find a, find a box and wrench that fits tightly, close enough that we can tell the difference between the two. Um, okay, I found two sockets that fit perfect. So this one fits perfectly over this larger one here, like with, with no wiggle. Okay, let me see the smaller one. The smaller one fits over the other. Okay, doesn't fit on this one. Well, it was the right call to f with this today. <laughs> yes, as it turns out. Well, you wanna help me strap this up, John? We need the nut. Yep, I got them over here. Here's the nut. I'm just gonna run it down a few threads. Put it down further if you want, but it'll be all right. Several long days later. I think our working theory now is to see if <clears throat> I can't just buy a replacement end for the hose that'll fit on that. Let's see what I bought will work. All right, let's see if this one fits snugly. It does not. What about this other one? Take the clip out so I can just slide it over it. Ah, that one feels right. Oh. Yeah, I'm not filming crap here because my hand's in the way, but that's a good fit. I can feel the O-rings sealing over the shaft oh mm. <laughs> okay <clears throat> carrying on so this stock guy this is not a rubber this is like a rubber protective sleeve over let's uh, see if i can pull it out enough get in the sun there we go can you see in there it's like a it's actually a hard plastic line and just has a rubber protective sleeve over it so I may be building a whole new fuel line <laughs> let's go I believe the other end just connects to the fuel filter so let's crawl under there and get a bunch of fuel on ourselves I don't know if I can it's going to be different I can 
even. Pull this thing out. <clears throat> Get it with my meat hooks. Mm, this gas is gonna fall out of there. Mm, not too bad. There we go. Keep wiggling. Yeah, almost there. Come on. Haha, <laughs> look at that. All right, so I can reuse that puppy. All right, let's go, let's go to the workbench. Five sixteenths line, two line here. Just gonna recreate it. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Okay. Not like that. Alrighty. Let's get back in there. <clears throat> that goes there. That is supposed to. So <clears throat> that's getting the shot. I can't really see. I can't really see crap. Right on. I might. I think I might. Redo it. I don't let this come through on the camera, but you can see I'm I'm worried about this exhaust pipe, and the way I had it seemed to want to push it down. Can I do like a little service loop here? Anyway, it feels more like. It wants to go straight, like if it just went straight in. Yeah, it's not coming through on the camera at all. Anyway, I had to make a call because uh, the 90 that I had on this end 
which is from factory that goes to this wanted to push this fuel line uh, into the exhaust pipe um, and so I don't know I mean the other one was sort of formed plastic kind of had a route this you know it was just a regular fuel line hose and straight seems to want to keep it in line with everything there it goes click Nope. Click. Nope. Uh oh. That might be problematic to me. Why? Ah, shit. Now I need to go check the other one, too. Will this end stay on? Here to go click. Yeah? This one doesn't want to come off. Where's this one? Good. Not that one. <clears throat> All right, I did have to trim off a bit of that flange that sticks up because it's not seating all the way. Is that coming through? There we go. It's not seating all the way over to the lip. So let's see. Let's see if this will do it. Same clip last time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, that did it. It just needed to be able to go that way, like a millimeter or two. Like nothing. Oh, yeah, that's not coming off. Okay. Whew. All right. This is a bit of a fiasco. I think we got it. All right, let's get the tank back in. It's working. Eat your heart out, Suzanne Summers. Here we go. Got her all lined up. Oh. Two little bolts. There's not a whole lot of room to get sausage fingers in there, is there? Okay, let's uh, double check for a uh, few leaks. Set you up here somewhere. Like that, maybe. You can see fuel rail. So far, so good. And so far, so good back here. This is where it was leaking, which of course I didn't have a camera set up back here when it leaked the first time. <laughs> Just gushed out of there. So, all right, on to the next thing. All right, let's get this top end back together. See if she fires up.
rusty. <laughs> Gasket's still on the block. It's relatively empty. Isn't it at a downward angle? Or is it pretty flat? It's pretty flat. Oh yeah, the gasket's here. Good lord. That is rusty. That's crazy. 20 years. It's rung that low. Yeah. So I am not in the least bit concerned. Okay. thing fails right off the block off the bat it ain't gonna be because of that I think it's just this is corroded up. It's not making a good battery connection. Okay. Well, let's see your test probe, I guess. <clears throat> That's something to like. Yeah, I think you're right. It's supposed to be. Want some sandpaper instead, or that good? I think this will be good enough for our purposes. Okay. I'm inclined to believe that starter cylinder is bad. Well, I believe I have one of those. Huh? I believe I just so happen to have one of those. <laughs> Let me see. Need to ground it. I think chassis is ground. go that route. <clears throat> oh, that sounded a lot better. All kinds of stuff clicked on now. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, let it run for a minute. Let me check the pressure. Alright, hit it. Is the key turned on? Yeah. You know we got the broken gauge or it's not filled up yet? It's probably not filled up yet. You got all your shit running? Yeah. Oh, well, I, I've got the camera right there on. We'll turn it on because I just hooked the coal wire up. Oh, hang on a second. It never built oil pressure though. You're ready to just. Or work. it doesn't work. Yeah, true. Do we just keep cranking it till it burns the starter up or just find out? All right. <laughs>
You miss your old friend Steve? <laughs> All right, that's going to conclude this episode. Uh, next week, we're going to get into the cooling system and the brake system. We've got a frozen water pump and all new brake lines to put in. So I'm hoping if everything goes well, we'll be doing smoking boner outs at the end of that episode. Thanks for watching.